Hey guys, welcome back to a new lesson. Today we're going to learn how to use the masking tool to create this very cool transition. This is only the base of masking tools, so using this effect, using this technique, you can actually create unlimited transition yourself. So try and learn this method and try yourself with all of your footage. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. The first thing you need to nail is actually your shots. Unfortunately, you can't just use this technique with everything. You have to plan ahead and shoot accordingly. For this first example, I'm panning, shooting these big waves from left to right. As you can see, I'm using manual focus and I'm panning above this umbrella so you can see that we're gonna use this to mask out our second shot. The second shot also should be the same motion as the first shot because if we use the first shot going to the right and the second to the left or a still shot, it's just not gonna look realistic. So you want two shots to match the same motion, same speed if you can, and to have some kind of object, usually out of focus is better, in the foreground to mask. Now that we got our shot sorted, what we're gonna do is put the first shot, which is the one that we're gonna mask, on the second video layer. We're gonna leave the second shot for now just because it's easier to mask something and see the black background. So we're gonna go at the exact frame where the umbrella stops covering our frame. Let's hop into the mask window, select draw mask. We're gonna draw a simple mask and then zoom out of the frame so that we can see outside of the frame. And we're gonna make a random mask drawing outside and we're going to keyframe that. To keyframe that all we're going to do is click onto mask path. Now we can move one keyframe forward and move our mask accordingly. You have to do this frame by frame to make sure your mask is perfectly aligned with whatever it's moving in front of your frame. Also don't have to switch the toggles for the mask path every time. Every time you move the mask for each frame a new keyframe will be created so you don't have to worry about that. Do this throughout the whole video and once you're done you pretty much should be good to go. Just play back a few times and try and understand if it's smooth or not. Once you're happy with it I usually add the expansion of the mask a little bit and then add blur in the mask. The blur is very important because you want to match the exact blur of the foreground object or subject that is covering your frame. Now that you're done, simply drag and drop the second video on the first video layer underneath as soon as the mask starts and you should be good to go. Play it back a few times if you see anything weird. Just go back to the same exact frame in the first video and adjust the mask accordingly. This is it for today guys. Hope you learned something new in this lesson and I'll see you guys in the next video.